Welcome to an introduction of the Particle Sizing Systems AccuSizer AD Single Particle Optical Sizing Instrument. This instrument is based on the principle of single particle optical sizing. In the most basic technological level, we see here a simple light obscuration sensor. As the particles pass through the measurement zone, they obscure some of the light. This creates a pulse, which is fed into a pulse height analyzer. Each pulse is converted into a particle size through the use of a calibration curve. The generated result shows both the particle size distribution and the concentration in particles per ml. The major advancement invented by particle sizing systems is the combination of light obscuration or extinction and light scattering. We see in the diagram here the measurement zone where the particles pass through the light source, but now we have two detectors. Here is the extinction detector and here is a scattering detector. The dimensions of the measurement zone are shown here. We take these two signals, the scattering signal and the extinction. It goes through a gain adjustment and a compression, and then we add these two inputs into a summation of both scattering plus extinction, fed into the pulse height analyzer, where a calibration curve is used to relate pulse height to particle size, and we generate a high accuracy, high resolution particle size result, which includes concentration. The combination of extinction and scattering extends the dynamic range. Sensors based on only light extinction or obscuration can only measure down to about one micron, but when we add scattering, we can now measure below micron down to 0.5 microns. The most popular sensor used in the AccuSizer is the LE400. This will measure the dynamic range of 0.5 to 400 microns, up to a concentration limit of 9,000 particles per ml. The upper concentration limit is based on a coincidence limit. In the lower left here, we see the particles passing one at a time through the measurement zone. There is no error here, but if we ever have more than one particle at a time in the sensing zone, as seen here, those two particles would be counted as one larger particle. So the concentration limit is based on the geometry of the cell and of the size of the laser beam. This result graphically demonstrates the wide dynamic range of the LE400 sensor. We actually can see 11 peaks here measuring from 0.7 up to 200 microns, which is a very unique capability of the AccuSizer AD. Now in order to make the measurement, we need to get the sample through the sensor at the proper concentration below the coincidence limit. The AD in AccuSizer AD stands for automatic dilution. The AccuSizer AD is a single stage exponential dilution system. We pipette the sample into a vessel here. We then use a filtered diluent that exponentially dilutes the sample down to the concentration range where we'd like to do the measurements, complete the measurement, clean up, and perform another measurement. Here we see the fluidics of the AccuSizer AD. The sample is pipetted into the sample vessel, which has volume V. The solvent, which is always a filtered solvent and is usually water, is pumped into the chamber to provide the dilution to bring us down to the proper concentration range. So we have a vessel of volume V. We have another pump, which is bringing the sample through the sensor of flow rate F. And what we're going to do is automatically dilute the sample down to the proper concentration limit so all the results are below the coincidence limit of the sensor being used. This slide explains the basic theory behind single stage exponential dilution. Concentration changes as a function of time based on the initial concentration, C0, time in tau, which is the auto dilution time constant, which is V over F. And if the volume is about 60 ml, and if the flow rate is 60 milliliters per minute, then tau is essentially one. So what we see over here is we initiate the process, and during this period, TA, we're not taking measurements, we're letting the sample dilute down to the proper concentration. Once we are below the coincidence limit of the sensor, we begin the measurement, and we take the measurement for the programmed time period, in this case, one minute. After we've completed the data collection, we create the result, which is particle size distribution in concentration of particles per mL, and we show here how we use the dilution factor to go from the number of particles counted to the particles per mL using the dilution factor as defined here. Here we'll see how simple it is to use the AccuSizer AD. Simply pipette the sample into the sample chamber, screw the lid back onto the sample chamber, hit start in the software and everything from here is automated. We dilute the sample to the proper concentration, 
Then we begin the measurement. And when we complete the measurement, we see our result, in this case, a perfect trimodal distribution. Let's now look at some examples of using the Accusizer AD to measure real-world samples. In the upper right, we have aluminum hydrate. This was a powder which was dispersed in water. And the result you see here, the Accusizer AD is the blue result you see right here showing this smooth bimodal result. The Accusizer AD has the resolution to resolve these two peaks and you see a fairly smooth frequency distribution. That's because we counted enough particles to be able to create this nice, smooth, realistic distribution. As we look at some of the other techniques, the dotted red line is a Coulter counter, which is also a counter technique. And it could resolve the two peaks, but you see this choppiness that appears in the frequency distribution? That's basically because not enough particles were counted to fully define the distribution. The Accusizer AD is a much quicker system. Since it's quicker, we have much better statistics, and we can more accurately describe the true distribution of the particles. The next result you see here, this pink one is actually a dynamic image analyzer, and you can see that it resolves two peaks, but again, this choppiness is because of lack of statistics, and also we think this is probably not getting the proper proportion into the two size ranges, again, just based on not having enough statistics to properly define the distribution. The black line you see here is laser diffraction, Laser diffraction is a lower resolution technique, so it wasn't able to resolve these two distributions. So it's a quick, easy technique, but doesn't have the accuracy and resolution of the accusizer. And the final technique you see here, the aerosizer is an older technique, no longer on the market. This result might give a hint why. In the lower right, we see a result of a powder that was sieved through a 44 micron sieve. So there are no particles above 44 microns. The result from the accusizer shown here in green gives a nice accurate high resolution result, accurately depicting the size distribution of the sieved particles. The red result comes from laser diffraction, and another limit to resolution of laser diffraction is that it always broadens the distribution as you see here. So if you need an accurate description of the distribution, a single particle counter, such as the Accusizer ID, gives a much more accurate, highly resolved result, helping you understand the true distribution of the population. On this slide, we look at a few more results. The Accusizer is used in the ink industry quite a bit. In the upper graph, we see here an aluminum powder which was milled before being used in metallic ink. This graph is showing the size reduction steps as this powder is being milled. These results are high resolution, high accuracy, and gives you a very accurate description of what are the largest particles present because the specifications here are sometimes not only the mean diameter, but there can be no particles above a given size range. Let's say maybe we want no particles greater than 20 microns. The accusizer, since it's high resolution, will very accurately describe what are the largest particles present. In the lower results we see on the right, results for an ink before it's finished, and we see there are still these tails of larger particles going up to about 50 microns. This is showing that this has not been milled completely, and more milling is required in order to achieve the desired specification. The result in the lower left is after the ink is finished, and we see no large particles present. The sensitivity to these few large particles to these tails is one of the true benefits of using the Accusizer. It is the most sensitive technique to determine the presence of a few large particles. Actually, studies we have documented in both our technical notes and in other recorded presentations actually can prove that we are over 600 times more sensitive than laser diffraction to the presence of a few large particles in the tail. Our concluding comments here point out that the Accusizer AD is a liquid particle counter. It does give you concentration, but it's typically just used as a sophisticated, high accuracy, high resolution particle size analyzer. It has the best sensitivity to tails, and that's not only on the large size, but also a few small particles. So it's the highest performance in regards to being able to accurately show a high resolution result of complicated distributions. The AD has the most advanced single stage exponential auto dilution system. So it's very easy to use. Just enter your sample, it will dilute to the proper concentration range, take the measurement, clean up, and be ready for the next measurement. For applications where there's a very high sample throughput, auto samplers can be added to the Accusizer AD. 
If you'd like additional information on the AccuSizer AD or of applications where it has been successfully used to provide results both in the laboratory and online, visit the Documentation Download Center. The URL is provided here. That concludes our quick introduction to the AccuSizer AD, and I do recommend you visit the Documentation Download Center for additional information.